What are the most common mistakes that any small business makes? Number one, the owner is doing everything. Everything revolves around the owner because he doesn't know how to delegate, meaning that he cannot leave his business alone. Number two, the owner does not establish a salary for himself, so he starts to mix up his personal expenses with business expenses. As a result, the business ran out of cash flow and out of liquidity. Number three, they don't have goals. And if they do have goals, they are too hard to achieve. When you are starting out, you either don't have goals, you are just surviving, or you establish goals that are too big to believe. And since you know deep down that you are not going to fulfill those goals, you never go anywhere because the, the jump is too high. What you should do instead is you should create small, trackable and accomplish goals one after the other one so that you can start to gain momentum. Number four is hire the wrong people. Since you're starting out, you don't have enough employees and everything revolves around the owner. But as soon as you start to grow, things start to get complicated. So you need someone in sales, someone in buying area, someone in accounting, someone in finance. What do you do? You hire the first person that comes across the street or a family member or your son or your wife and you put them to work and they are not qualified and they don't have goals either. They don't know what to do in this position. So a startup becomes a family-based business without foundations, without systems, without goals. And this is the reason why they cannot grow. So as you can see, everyone starts clean, fresh, with no expenses, with no problems, with, with no bad habits. But the owner most of the time is the one responsible to create these bad habits and make these bad decisions for the company. So something that was very good and had a lot of potential end up going really bad. This is the reason why most businesses do not succeed. And it's not because the industry or because the clients, because there are other businesses in the same industry who have a lot of growth and a lot of potential. So make sure that you make the right decisions and make sure that you take all of these things into account when you are starting out your business. Mistake number five is the owner is the sales guy and he just sells to family, to people he know, to his neighborhood, and he doesn't have a marketing plan. Usually because he doesn't have a clue about marketing, he doesn't know anything about lead generation, about social media, about branding. And he believes that marketing and branding is very expensive and that once he makes some X amount of money or once he's in a certain level, he's going to start doing those things. Marketing and branding should be considered since day one. The most important thing that you can do for yourself and your business is to create a brand. And you can do that for free. That is organic and that is a long term strategy. It actually takes a lot of time to build. This is the reason why you need to start on day one so that it can start gaining and gaining traction, momentum and followers. Why? Because the secret in any business is to have an audience, a group of people that follow you, that believe in you, that trust you and that are willing to try out your products have them somewhere you control, you pick the platform, and then nurture them, sell them, and ask them for their help to make you grow. So this is the secret behind marketing. If you want more business strategy, don't forget to join our free community. The link is here below. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video.